O nosso telespectadores, é, 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 bem-vindos ao programa Saúde e Vida. Eu já tinha e nós saudades de vocês e uh, temos aqui o vosso grande médico que toda a gente tem andado a pedir por ele. A lot of people have been calling me doctor because they wanted to see you, <laughs> but uh, you were in vacation. So uh, I brought him back. So everybody that has problems with the intestines, stomach, etc. You know the main, the main, uh, a part principal do corpo onde se come, onde se vai ao banho, etc. Temos linha aberta, chamamos o, o, o número é 973-264-1462. So, doctor... Thank you for having me, number one. Thank oh, you. my pleasure. I have some people, you know, a, a couple of people have gone to see you, and they were so happy. They say, he's so sweet, he's so kind. I says, yeah, we were lucky. We were lucky to find you because Our community needs you very badly, doctor. We need a doctor like you, and God has been good. God has been very good to me that I, that I, I finally get to you, gentlemen, to come down here. Well, we certainly have to support the area, and at the same time, the population should be treated as well as everyone else. There's no reason why they shouldn't, and at the same time, exposing them to the, the people and the experts that are available for them to get the best care they can. And they Ab deserve that. Absolute, doctor. Our people deserve, and uh, it's a lot of our communities, you know, Ia, Elizabeth, Carney, Harrison, you know, uh, a lot of areas, some of them far away, and they're all very happy. And I, I, I was praying to the good Lord this happened. We've been having a couple of incidents down here. That's a shame that that happened. So uh, welcome, doctor, and I hope you can do it, and some of your friends. I have a group of wonderful doctors, the best of the best, and I'm so proud. You have no idea how happy this makes me, doctor. Makes happy me to be here. Like a, yeah, and when I spoke to you this morning, I was so happy because you know you were going away. Sometimes it makes rough because you all have kids. We're in school all year. They only come home this time of the year. They don't want to come to New York, but You people have been very, very kind to, um, to come. So, senhores espectadores, uh, para falarem connosco, tem o 973-264-1462. E quero dizer a qualquer dos nossos espectadores que não tenho sido pontual, que não tenho feito o que vocês querem, eu tive um mês péssimo. Mas chamem-me. Eu até tirei duas semanas de férias e trabalhei essas duas semanas de férias. Portanto, chamem-me porque as pessoas que eu perdi os nomes. Por favor, eu estou na Casa Costa segunda, quarta, sexta e sábado. Ok, chamem-nos que nós estamos à vossa espera. So, um, I'm, I'm glad you, uh, you happy and it's a lot of problems, people, with people, with, with these uh, problems, intestines. Uh, I don't know if it's the food the people eat, I don't know what it is. Well, it, it's a combination, at least when it comes to cancer. Genetics plays a very important role. Um, also obesity, smoking, um, too much red meat consumption, not enough exercise. All the things that our parents told us to do in moderation, well, if we did a little bit better, maybe we'd be in better health. The only thing that we can't change is genetics, and that is something that people have to understand. Yeah. And that if you have this particular condition in your family, for instance, colon cancer, It's so easy to get checked out and protect your family members by being evaluated. And nowadays, we're doing very well compared with years ago, doctor. We Absolutely. have great methods, great doctors. O doutor estava a dizer que se nós não engordássemos tanto, se não comêssemos tanto comer os diabetes, a gordura, e não se faz ginástica, não se faz exercício, I have men, doctor, that I feel sorry for them. They work construction with sure. this seat. They eat a sandwich at lunchtime, okay? At night, when they get home, 6, 6, 30, they shower. They eat until they, you know, push the finger inside because they're hungry. They're going to the sofa to watch TV. Some of them say, Mrs. Carson, my wife wakes me up at 2 o'clock in the morning. They're exhausted. The temperatures had been, ext had been extremely high. And I understand. And in our culture, we Portuguese, we couldn't leave a piece of this in the plate. 
spread at a big lane. I understand. You serve little by little, mm -hmm. don't leave nothing on the plate. Another thing we couldn't say, I do not like that. I said it a few times, <laughs> <laughs> but I was a bad girl. And uh, eat, eat, eat. Sometimes I used to try to lose weight to go home. My friends, oh my God, you look horribly skinny. What's the matter, are you sick? I said, listen, you idiot. I've been, I've been starving for three months to come be elegant, and that's the name you guys give me. Because, well, not anymore, because they copy everything that America does. Everything the Americans do, they copy. Well, they have their own style, right? They have their own style, but you know, this, this, even women my age, I see them kind of go back with jeans, you know, smoking a cigarette in the street, you know, drinking whiskey. You know, we, we didn't have that years ago. <laughs> Well, there's nothing wrong with drinking whiskey now, is there? I don't drink, Doc. Oh, okay. I, I only drink either cranberry juice or tea. Okay. And one cup of coffee a day. And when I came to this country, my parents used to send me the espresso. What's so much espresso in America? <laughs> That's not easy. Uh, yeah, I, except if I go out, I'd have an espresso if it's not night, but uh, uh, without um, caffeine. That but works nice. It works beautifully. And b listen, for migraine addicts, espresso works. Okay. Yes, you're right. Caffeine does. Caffeine, because my grandmother, every morning, used to come from church, first thing she would drink is, is espresso because she had a headache. Did she have any wine also? And my grandma, in our house, women don't drink. I don't know why. Okay. The boys drank mm -hmm. very good. My father, my grandfather. Only one uncle that I had, my grandmother's uh, brother was a doctor, but he didn't drink. Mm -hmm. He didn't um, drink, no. He had some kind of a problem, he didn't talk. So, Sr. Peter Durstum, the key of us is better, 973, 2642, 3142, 3142. Thursday, I have a, a meeting with Steve, Zen, with Steve Zenowitz. Mm -hmm. And there's a couple of things that I'm going to tell him, not that I'm going to go anywhere, but I have a problem. I'll share with you okay. later on. that works out. Yeah. Um, well, they just showed me an ad today that was all in Portuguese talking mm -hmm. about the cancer center and the relationship yeah. with Robert, mm -hmm. Robert Wood Johnson, Johnson and Barnabas Helton. That's right. That was very impressive. I think that's great. And I, I'm going to talk to them because what I want them to do, they don't know what other doctors. You come in here, uh, they go to your office, mm -hmm. and they're going to interview you. Right. They take your picture, you talk all about you, what you do, what you don't do. Then you come on the front page of the Portuguese paper. Okay. Okay. And one last thing I ask the gentleman to make in Portuguese and English mm -hmm. because I want the guys there to Absolutely, read. Absolutely, sure. Yeah. Okay. I'm trying. Uh, so uh, they, they've got to, doctor. You know, we, we've got to. It's a shame because they built that thing there, but I'm not going there. Because I told, okay, temos uma amiga sua. Boa noite, faça favor. Olá, dona Isabel. Olá, como está? Tudo bem? Está tudo bem, e a senhora como é que está? Eu sou a amiga Ivone Pereira, a mãe daquele menino que foi o prazo para o doctor Gilde. Ontem. Pelo doctor who? Do Dr. Gilder. Do Dr. Gilder uh, did surgery in a Portuguese the child? Yesterday. Yes. See? He, he doesn't Daniel. tell you. Isn't he a doll? But He's, I can't talk about it. He <laughs> can't <laughs> speak. He's a medical amor. He had so many news for the doctors. Oh, thank you very much for the senhor and for your family. The senhor had a great medic to operate the net. Congratulations. Não, 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 meu filho, meu oh, filho. Ao seu filho, desculpa, não entendi. Ótimo, muitos parabéns. E como é que está tudo? Está tudo bem? Está tudo a correr bem, graças a Deus. Ótimo, muitos parabéns. Se a senhora quer dizer alguma coisa ao médico, faça favor, Cartec. Sim, sim, eu só lhe quero dizer muito obrigada por tudo. Oh, ok, she says thank you so much for everything. <laughs> ah, I'd like to be all... Hi, Dr. Gilder, how are you? I'm terrific. I love you. I'm terrific. <laughs> Thank you very much for everything. Danny's doing well. All right. I'm happy to hear that. I can't say anything more about it, but I hope all goes well. Yeah. 
Ok. Menos para a, a, a senhora sabe, nós estamos a crevar os nossos para o melhor que há. Estou muito feliz para a senhora. A senhora que me chame e diga-me como é que o menino está amanhã, o seu filho. Está bem, muito obrigada, Dona Isabel. Nada. Senhora, Até eu, amanhã, se Deus Até amanhã, se Deus quiser. Eu te beijinho para a senhora. <risos> bye bye. Sim? You, 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 you keep the sec secrets from me. I know. I can't talk about that. I know you that. cannot. You know, but did you see this people? I tell you, doctor, years ago when Mr. When Barnabas offered me a job, it did, I was in James and I couldn't get out of there. Um, it was a cop. Faça favor, boa noite. Boa noite. Olá. Olá. E não sei quem é que está a falar. Hello. I guess she's shy. Oh, oh they ain't got. Right. That's okay. They'll call back. We have a lot of friends up there. Um, and Dr. Gilder is a good friend of this community. We're very lucky to have a man who really cares so much for our people because I'm saying, because you guys always come and tell me that's why they don't have set up there. They tell me this lady's here. She says, Dr. Mrs. Carson, the doctor even gave me a kiss. I was so nervous. Nervous for what? <laughs> yeah, our, our, our people are very good. But um, uh, Mr. Delmora says you're going to come up. He says, Mr. Delmora, I'll go up. But as long as St. James is here and I have this community needing badly, I'm not going out, uh, out of here. Because somebody has to do something for these people because these Portuguese people are fine, fine people. The Portuguese, the Brazilians, the, 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 um, the people from uh, Spain, they're wonderful and they have such a respect for their position. Okay, boa noite, Falf, se faça favor. Boa noite. Boa Eu tinha uma pergunta para o senhor doutor. A menina fala inglês? Sim, fala. Oh, então fala inglês que o doutor vai ficar muito feliz. Okay, muito obrigada. Yeah, yeah. Good evening, doctor. How are you? Good evening. Um, I do have a question. I'm not sure if you are specialist um, in the field. Um, are you aware of um, any guides that you can probably give us as far as H. pylori? Sure. I do believe that that's a stomach bacteria, and what causes it, and how can we eliminate it after... The, you know, after taking all the antibiotics. All right, now, that is typically diagnosed by either a biopsy from a, uh, what's called a, an, an endoscope or a gastroscope done by a gastroenterologist. And mm -hmm. the, the treatment is a, a series of antibiotics as well as a combination of other medications. Have you had more than one episode of this or you just, you haven't been able to get rid of it? Uh, no, I just had one, um, they did, one, um, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to say it's a breath test after mm -hmm. the series of the antibiotics. Right. And um, they said I was cleared from it, but I've heard scenarios of people that it does come back. So I wasn't sure if it's a type of nutrition or anything different that I need to do in order for it not to come back, and how do I make it not come back? That's, a, that's an excellent question, and I don't think people totally understand the reason completely. I think it has something to do with the stomach and the acidity, uh, and as far as the recommendations, I think you need to speak with the gastroenterologist who treated you, because mm -hmm. I believe that by following that regimen that that person presents for you is the best okay. chance that you're not going to have this again. Okay. Now, with, with H. pylori, would that increase of any type of uh, colorectal cancer? No, it doesn't do that, uh, but you it are at increased risk of having an ulcer. In other uh, words, either bleeding or pain, and the treatment is very correctable. It doesn't increase your risk of colorectal cancer. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, thank you very much for your assistance. No problem. There is now a combination pill that they made it a lot easier instead of having to take four separate pills. Talk okay. to your doctor about that because it was just recently released and I think it's a great way to knock this out quickly. Oh, okay. Yeah, because it was not a very easy, no, no, it's, um, no it's really not easy to take. The antibiotics is just, 
you know, before meal, after meal, but every time you're, you know, in between meals, it's, you know, you're taking the antibiotics and you got to wait two hours before you take it. And it's really hard to deal with. So Ex exactly. So now, yeah. right. so now they've just come out with a combination that will encompass all of that. And for oh, the, okay. people, the people that are affected by it, I think it'll be a lot easier to treat. Oh, fantastic. Well, thank you very much no for problem. your... Uh, your guide, guidance, and uh, thank you for being on the show. I greatly appreciate it. Right, Anjali, give it, I'm going to ask the doctor to give his office number. Okay, thank you. Can okay. I have your office Absolutely. number? Absolutely. Okay, I need the cards. I'm going to have cards in my office. I apologize, I forgot my cards. I know, I knew you were going to forget. Doctors <laughs> don't carry the cards. So, yeah, you know, if you want to have a card, I'm going to get them in my office. What's the number, doctor? 973? Yep, 322. Okay, okay. Zero two five zero. Yeah, his name is Dr. Gilder. Okay, thank you very much, Dr. Gilder. So that's nine seven three three two two zero two five zero. Correct. Zero. Okay. Great. Is some nina por dep qualquer coisa que queira shampo mesular. That's two o one two o seven two two six zero. I'll 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 send you a card that I give you by the phone again. Okay. Thank you very very much. Nada, honey. Thank you for okay, calling. Muito obrigada e boa noite. Boa noite, obrigada, Pamnina. Uh, that's right, doctor. That's a horrible thing. A lot of people suffer from that. But but it is correctable. And Years at the ago same was time, so bad. It was a pain, uh, but now it's correctable, and they've come up with a better solution. That's you know, telling you it's the science. When anything is, when when anything gets, when anything gets perfect, that's when I'm gonna die. <laughs> <laughs> Boa noite, minha senhora, meu senhor. Por favor, fale connosco, meus amigos. Boa noite. Boa noite. Eu tinha uma pergunta para fazer ao senhor doutor, se okay. puder ser. Claro, minha linda. A senhora fala inglês. Falo, sim, senhor. Ah, que bom. O meu, o, o meu inglês não é muito perfeito. That's ok. Mas eu peço que o senhor doutor me pode entender. Pode, que ele é uma joia de um rapaz. This, this Por acaso, thing. parece. Não é? Um Oi, jogo, um jogo uh, do menino. Eu já tenho 83 anos okay, so, so, e o meu marido tem 87. Mas a senhora não quer falar eu, em inglês com ele? Sim, yeah, eu falo inglês. Ok, a senhora okay, fala inglês com tudo. Hello, doctor. Good evening. My name? No, What? good evening, she oh, said. Oh, good evening, sorry. Doctor, my husband has a problem. A big problem. He has complained about three or four weeks about the uh, pain on the left side of his head close to the ear. And we have been talked to the doctors about that and they don't seem to, to press much attention. I wonder if you can give us any advice about that. It's not swelling, it's not red, but he says it's very painful. Now, how long has this been going on for him? Um, for, well, he has been complained for a long time, but for the past three weeks, it's been worse. And this is on the left side of his abdomen? Yes. Okay. Has he ever had a test called a CAT scan? Has anyone ever evaluated him by obtaining a CAT scan? A CAT scan is a simple x-ray that allows us to get a good picture inside of someone without doing he anything. He has an invasive. MRI. Oh, yeah, he has an MRI, MRI on uh, April 13 and was done to the head because it was done. I'm sorry, I couldn't hear you too well. Well, was done f by the waters of the neurologist. It, it, they didn't find anything, but is, he keeps complaining. That's been worsened and worsened. Well, a, an MRI is one is one test, but a CAT scan is another, and they, they do differ. It, it's it's for the most okay. part can give a better p global picture. An MRI has its benefits, but it doesn't give you all the answers. And Did you have a doctor to send it? Do you know anybody to send it? We'll talk about that. We'll see in a second. But but an MR, a, a CAT scan can it give other information. Now, does your husband smoke? Does he have issues with his vascular system? 
Oh, yeah, he has, he has heart problems, yes. Oh, yeah. He has what they call in here a fib or atrial fibrillation, and he has um, something with his lungs. It's not, it's not cancer, thank God. It's what they call hypertension of the lungs. So he has, he has pulmonary hypertension. Okay. Right. So he now, has pulmonary so, hypertension. So now and I understand. And he has some kidney problems. Okay, so now I understand why they went for the MRI, because they were looking specifically if he has vascular compromise. In other words, if an organ doesn't have enough blood supply to it, the MRI can give you a very good picture of that. So I think okay. they were concerned about something called ischemia. And ischemia is when a portion of your anatomy doesn't get enough blood supply. For instance, if the heart doesn't get enough blood supply, you have a heart attack. The intestines okay. can do that also, and they can manifest with pain. So this is something I think your doctors are looking into. Has, has he also had a test called an, an endoscopy or a colonoscopy? Is that ever done? No, he had a colonoscopy about, about two years ago. Two not, years ago. Not recently. Okay. No. I, I wonder also if a CAT scan would be beneficial also. It's a relatively simple okay. test to do. And that could be complementary and then followed, if need be, by an evaluation by either your primary, a gastroenterologist, or a colorectal surgeon. But there's a little bit more as far as what you've told me because of your husband's cardiac condition and the fact that he has pulmonary hypertension. So there's a little bit yeah, more he to was, this. He was in the hospital on the last days of uh, April uh, in the beginning of May. They did a um, CAT scan, but I don't think it was a CAT scan of the head. It was a CAT scan of the heart, I believe. Okay. All right. I mean, what we need to do is process and see what information was actually done, because we don't want to repeat tests that are unnecessary. But it sounds okay. like your husband's problem is complicated. It doesn't sound simple. But needless to say, if we go through it kind of like a detective, I think we may be able to help him out. Okay, doctor. Thank you so much for your help. All right, no problem. Okay. All right, have a good yeah. night. Good luck. Muitos parabéns com a senhora Vala, muito bem inglês, está muito orgulhosa. That's cute. That's that's you know she 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 did very well with oh, her absolutely. English. Oh, yeah. absolutely. Her English is a lot better than my Portuguese. A little dog, a little. Oh, my goodness. Now, now, you said something before, and I've never forgot it. It's when St. James closed in this area. I think it was the responsibility of Barnabas and Robert Wood Johnson to, to pick up, to serve the community. And, and I do think that they should be held to that task. Because when, a, in, when an individual area loses something as important as a hospital, it's an obligation that the rest of us have to fulfill. Oh, OK, cool. OK. Boa noite. Faça favor. Boa noite. I don't Isabel. My name is Isabel de Cruz. Oh. And I don't call for help. I just call to say that I work for many years with Dr. Gildas. Oh. And I want to say how great doctor he is and thank you for everything what he does. Oh. Como é que se chama a senhora? Eu sou Isabel da Cruz e trabalho, trabalho para o Overlook Medical Center Endoscopy Suite. Isabel da Cruz, yes, she works absolutely, for you. Absolutely, absolutely. See, all your girlfriends showing up. I didn't know <laughs> I was. I, I didn't know. for many years with him. Oh, thank you so much for calling. I'm sure the doctor will be very happy because he, he's a lovely man. Yes, he's a great group. Him and that, I just know him and Dr. Tarantino, but no matter. He's a great group yeah. and an uh, extraordinary doctor. That's right. I heard about them for many years. And I used to look at him in St. Barnabas and said, this is the man, you yeah. know. So one day I introduced me to him. Right, doctor? You, yeah. you, you don't remember. So many people introduced themselves to you. Olha, muito obrigada, senhora. A senhora foi muito simpática te chamar. Thank you, and just thank say you. thank you for everything what you do, doctor. All right. Oh, good. Night, night. Good night. <laughs> Thank okay. you. Boa bye noite. Bye. Obrigada bye. por te chamar. Bye. That's simpática, senhora. <laughs> the lady worked for you. That's good. See, doctor, you're going to discover a lot of people who have been missing for years. Well, I mean, I've been here for 29 years. So. That's a, it's a lifetime. So. Some people don't live 21 years. But going back to, to, to Barnabas, uh, I, um, 
Someday I'm going to tell you how hard I work. I even pick in the front of the, the archbishop. Boa noite. Faça favor, estamos aqui à sua espera. Olá, boa noite. Faça favor. Sim, então eu tenho uma pergunta para o doutor. Sim, senhor. O senhor fala inglês? Falo. Ah, oh, boa, sim, mas sim, fale diretamente com ele. Faça favor. Obrigada. Pronto, obrigado. Uh, good evening, doctor. How are you? Good evening. Thanks for taking my call. Absolutely. Um, so, I, I had a, a when I think was a stomach bug back in July 3rd, and uh, I was three days, I was pretty sick. I had a lot of diarrhea and uh, body aches and a little fever. And uh, so, I did the bread diet and I. Um, I kind of, uh, it, it, it kind of slowed down. Then my kid's birthday was on the 7th, so I went and I ate normal again, so I had diarrhea again, so then I stopped. And then when I went back to eating, uh, it came, came back again. So I went to my regular doctor, and she did some, uh, uh, some stool um, uh, work, um, and some stool laboratories, and mm -hmm. everything came back negative for bacteria, for... Um, Good, yeah. Uh, WBC, um, all, all those all those things came back negative, and uh, my blood work was normal. I wasn't dehydrated or anything, but I still felt like every time I ate, I got really swollen, like kind of like um, a bloat, I guess. Mm -hmm. And uh, every time I go back to regular food, uh, I would have diarrhea again, uh, but then it would stop. You know, it wasn't it wasn't like as bad as it was for those three days, July third, fourth, and fifth. Um, But uh, so right now uh, I don't have diarrhea, and but I do have uh, like the like I just feel bloated all the time, okay. and uh, with some stomach acid I guess uh, up below the sternum, uh, and, um, and and it just seems like if I were to eat normal again, I, I wouldn't you know I, I would again go to the bed you know have diarrhea. Now I am following what they call the FODMAP diet. Uh, That's thanks to my wife. She looked that up for me, and that kind of helps. Okay. Uh, I, I, I don't seem to do it, but is it normal for to have uh, long-term effects from a stomach virus? Well, I'm, I'm going to ask you a couple questions first, and that is, sure. can you correlate the way you feel and when you get uncomfortable with certain foods? In other words, do you have that problem when you have when you have milk or dairy products? In other words, can you isolate it as a one thing that's a source? Does milk or dairy bother you at all? Yeah, I, I'm, right now I, I stopped with the, the milk and dairy, no cheeses, no nothing. I okay. do have the, um, the lactose-free milk, okay. and it doesn't seem to, to. I don't seem to have an issue with that. Okay. Uh, it, it's just like when, just when I go back to to regular food, like if I do wheat bread, for instance, I I, I feel bad, uh, that kind of stuff. I mean. Um, well, it almost sounds as though you may even have something like a gluten sensitivity, meaning that. That may be contributing to the way you feel as well. In other words, I'm not saying that you developed all of a sudden a gluten allergy, but you might be sensitive to it. So for whatever reason, this bug that caused this may have altered you a little bit. So what I'm going to ask you to do is to make a list of the things that bother you and, and basically follow, as you said, a FODMAP diet. That's fine. But you, what you're effectively doing is you're isolating out the potential sources and not continuing it. So what I'm, I might say is stay away from gluten products temporarily. In other words, stick with a gluten-free diet. Would the classic Portuguese roll be gluten, uh, have gluten in it? I, I, I don't know. I, I, I don't know the answer to that. I think you have to look that up uh, okay, to determine okay. that. The other thing is you can also begin something like a probiotics in your, in your diet. There's certainly no downside to it, and that initially might build up what you might be lacking or missing. And temporarily, if it helps you, it makes you feel good, then you can get back to your regular diet and see what happens. Understood. And as far as the probiotic, is there a particular brand or anything? Because I realize there's, there's like lactobacillus and all, all different stuff. Is I'm, there anyone that's particularly good for you? There are many, and there are, there are, there are um, groupings that are sold over the counter that are very effective. Yeah, and they're for men, for, for, for different discomforts. Yes. The yeah, answer the is thing yes is you, yeah. yeah. I I I sell a lot of probiotics. It's the best thing that the person can take, doctor. Okay. Do you have it at your store? 
It sounds like I said the right thing. Yeah, probiotics is a, it's great. I take every day. Yeah, so maybe I'll come visit you. You said you're there on Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays, and Saturdays. See, everybody knows where I am. See? <laughs> See? Listen, o, o, o senhor vai guardar esse número no caso do senhor precisar do Dr. Gelder ter o um número na sua casa. Tem um papelinho e um lápis? Sim, sim, sim. Ok, o número de... dele... Eu já tiro a informação toda. Ok. Aí. Que eu fugi da televisão para não fazer o feedback, sabe? I know. Okay. <risos> o nome eu dele é... Num cantito. Ok, oh. diga para mim. Ok, o número do seu doutor é 973-322-0265. Okay. Dr. Gelder. E as empregadas dele são uma simpatia. E onde é que ele é localizado? O, o senhor sabe onde é o, o Livingston Mall? Sim. Ok, em frente há ali um, uma, uma casa que é do St. Barnabas, de fazer testes e coisa. O seu doutor está lá no segundo andar, mas ele vai... Oh, naquele prédio que, que é do, do St. Barnabas Saint que está em frente, sim, sim. da rua. Okay. Isso mesmo. Mas eu vou ter os cartões dele no meu escritório. A menina dele vai mandar e depois deu o senhor. Para o senhor, para quem precisar, que a gente está sempre à procura de bons médicos. E, e uma coisa, acha que se ele chamasse, ele teria uma consulta relativamente perto assim, ou, ou seria para o okay. fim de agosto? O, o, o senhor fala inglês, I'm going to tell you a secret. When you call Dr. Gelder, you tell them, the person who sent me here was Mrs. Castor. So he knows that he's going to see you as soon as he can. He's very generous. He's a good man, okay. believe me. Se o senhor me conhece, sabe que eu só digo a verdade. I only tell the truth. If he wasn't that nice, I would not tell you. I would be quiet. Okay, well, that's a, that's a very nice recommendation. Yeah, so you, now, got, you got there. I'll you call got, his office tomorrow. Maybe he could see, he could see me quickly, you know? So, yeah. I, I call him. I call another doctor, but I have the appointment for the end of the month. So oh, you know, lucky. You, you could have after Christmas. Some of them, they want to see the patients after Christmas. Como é que se chama o senhor? É José Augusto. Ok, senhor Augusto. Boa sorte e o senhor vai muito bem entregue. Muito obrigado. Muito obrigado. E agradeço ao doutor por mim também. Muito obrigado. Então. He says thank you so much. Mm, you're welcome. Yeah? You're welcome. Uh, 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 I have a big problem. Doctor seeing patients. Ha- November, the end of November, so sick. Well, I think that things have definitely changed since COVID, and I don't think we've still been able to get back to normal. Yeah, we are. We still. A lot of offices don't have enough staff still. No, no, nobody wants to work. And a lot, and we're seeing also offices have been reduced or people have retired. And the government is pay- paying home the ones who they don't want to work. Well, that's not going to last very long, is it? Okay. Boa noite, faça favor. Boa noite. Uh, eu uma, okay, posso falar inglês com o Dr. Okay, a senhora fala inglês? Yeah. Okay, faça favor de falar right com o doutor. <laughs> uh, good evening, doctor. I like to ask you a question. It's not for me, it's for a friend. Okay. She suffers with uh, fibromyalgia. Fibromyalgia? Yes. Okay. And she's with pain every day, every day, all day. And she's trying different uh, medication and nothing helps her. So can you advise me what, if this have some medication to help or not? Fibromyalgia is a, a very, very difficult diagnosis mm-hmm. to treat. Uh, I don't think that we have any one medication that is specifically designed for people with fibromyalgia. Imagine okay. a condition that amplifies all of your pain and discomfort so that no matter okay. what you do, the pain level is a 10 out of a 10. And Uh, we don't we don't have all the right answers i am not an expert in this condition at all and i don't i don't want to lead anyone in the wrong direction but there are people that specialize in fibromyalgia some are neurologists Mm -hmm. some are internists but at the same time it's the type it's the type of thing that you 
have to go to someone who's experienced because there's different ways to treat it. There's different medications, and it's a very complex disease. Okay. Do, do you think we could send the, you could send this lady to a neurologist? There are, there are some individuals who will, who will do that. Um, it is a catch-all diagnosis, uh -huh. and there are some people who specialize in different forms of it. So I think we can get you a reference to help you out with that. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. Okay. Okay, so you told me number to phone. You to the you give me this name, and uh, it passes the senora. Okay, but uh, I live in California. Oh boy, California! Oh. That's a, say they call you from California. Okay. Well, well, okay. So then I would first look specifically for neurologists who specialize with the diagnosis of fibromyalgia. There are some rheumato okay. there are some rheumatologists who also work with this condition who are very very good at it. Um, okay. I wouldn't right, necessarily. Those would be the two groups of physicians that I would speak with first. Okay. okay. All right, because she takes every day Advil, Tylenol, you know, Motrin, and not help her, and she takes three, four each time, and I tell her it's not good, you know, because not to help you. So I'm going to call the doctor and ask if he knows something different for help you. Absolutely. She has to begin to touch the right medications. There are, there are um, different families of medicines that are not necessarily narcotics, but can be very helpful and at the same time rid her of some of the pain okay. and discomfort. Okay. Thank you, doctor. All right. Good luck. And thank you. Um, Isabel. I, I don't know your name. My Isabel. name is Isabel. You're welcome, ma'am. You're welcome, okay. ma'am. And the best thank to you, you and to your friend. And thank you for calling. Okay. Thank you for All calling. All right, thank you. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. That's interesting. California. California. You're going to get from Hawaii, the, the, you have to see what comes That's in. That's fantastic. People come from New York to see me. I say, I'm not a doctor. That's because fantastic. Because, yeah, it is. This, uh, vamos continuar, Sr. Telespectadores, que está quase a acabar. 973-264-1462. Que agora não sei quando é que vai ter o doctor. Nove minutos, nós temos mais nove minutos. Temos alguém na linha? Não. Temos mais nove minutos, doutor. Mas não tem ninguém na linha, portanto, temos mais, mais, no, temos mais uh, nove minutos, se alguém quiser chamar, com todo o gosto. Mas, uh, uh, como a empregada dele disse, esse médico é um médico que se recomenda. Há médicos, os médicos são como os padres e como os sapateiros, the shoemakers, the priests and the shoemakers. They are the good, they, uh, some, some doctors care, like you are an old-fashioned doctor. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, temos mais uma chamada, <coughs> faça favor. <coughs> Hello? Yes, uh, boa noite. Boa noite. Uh, eu gostava de fazer uma pergunta ao, ao senhor doutor. Absolutamente, a senhora fala inglês. Sim, yeah, falo. Ok, faça favor que ele fica tudo feliz. <laughs> Olá, doctor. Hello. I have a rheumatoid arthritis. Mm -hmm. I've been taking medicine. And uh, I took uh, Simzia for a couple of years to shut um, a, a month. Mm -hmm. And uh, right now nothing has been helping. And now um, the doctor said the thing the maybe to try I had to stop some medicines because they were ruining my liver. Mm -hmm. And uh, the doctor said uh, to try the um, Orensia, uh, the infusion. What do you think? I think that when they go from one biologic therapy to another, it's important that, that you understand that they have exhausted. In other words, they've tried as much as I can with the Simzia, and they feel the next step is a different family of treatment. And I say, go for it. I said, absolutely. It sounds like you have a very, very skilled physician who's guiding you, knowing that they've tried one thing, and they realize that they haven't been successful. So the answer is absolutely yes, 100%. Yeah. I'm going to take my third one uh, uh, next Tuesday. Right. And then I'm going to, that's been, I've been doing it every two weeks, and then it's going to go every month. All right. Good luck. 
Eh, vivo. Signore, vive in New Jersey? Eh, you live in vivo. Jersey? Eh? Vivo, sì. E noi vivo dove è che la signora mora? Dove you live? I live in Riverside, New okay. Jersey. Oh, New Jersey, yeah. Yeah. Ok. Signor... Obrigada. Nada, buona notte, as ordini. Buona notte. Nós estamos a chegar ao fim do programa e quero agradecer. I like to thank everyone. Oh, I have another call. Ok, weak okay. last call. Ok, faça favor, senhor telespectador. Faça favor. Boa noite. Boa noite, noite. Boa noite. O meu nome é Maria José. Eu só quero agradecer ao doutor. Thank you, doctor. I know you, you know, remember me because you have a lot of patients, but uh, I did a surgery, colon cancer, for Dr. Deborah Tarantino. Okay. It's your group. I say thank you, thank you very much for you help me. Uh -huh. I was in San Barnabas. I was for three weeks, but everything is okay. I did a surgery three years ago, 2018. I am your patient. It's not exactly your patient. But I have a patient from your group, Dr. Deborah Tarantin. You visit me in the hospital. She's, so, she's, uh, an, ex she's an excellent physician. Okay. Yeah, I'm very nervous because <laughs> I'm talking to you. I saw you on TV. I was very, very, very nervous. Okay, doctor. Have a very, very happiness. Happiness. Have a nice summer. And thank you very, thank you very much for to all your group. Oh, you're welcome. You. Okay. It's very Just sweet say, of thank you. Thank you. Yes. Don Isabel, yes. thank you very much. Very sweet. You don't remember me, but you know me. You you was visiting me in Africa. I'm sure I do. But you, listen. If you see my face, you know me. Thank you. <laughs> okay. Thank you okay. so much for calling because this doctor deserves and takes I people know, like I, you, you and I to know how doctor, good he is. You yeah. was visiting me in Africa because see? Dr. Tarantino was off that day yeah. and you went there to visit me. Okay, thank obrigada, you very much. Thank you. Obrigada, senhora. Obrigada. 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 Ok, thank nada. You, thank Boa noite. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's very nice. That's very nice to recognize because it, it, it's great when you find a doctor that solves your problem because sometimes that's just horrible. Especially when you reach certain ages. You don't want to go to one doctor and another doctor and another doctor. Anyway, se eu tiver os petas dos, nós vamos despedir. Uh, desde uh, uma semana tenho quase a certeza que vamos ter um outro programa e quero agradecer ao seu doutor, que eu sei que ele trabalhou todo o dia. Sim. A quick call, last call. Another. Ok. Boa noite, faça favor. Boa noite. Yeah. Faça favor. Uh, boa noite. Diga. Eu só queria perguntar, eu não falo muito inglês, That's eu queria okay. perguntar uh, ao doutor, eu sofro de connect Tissues, disease. Uh, so, for the menina? Connect? Tissues, disease. Connect tissues? Connected tissues, tissues disease. disease. Yeah. É o que o doutor, o reumatologista, me disse que eu tinha. Sim. E tenho também problema nos joelhos. Ah. Eu, não, eu não sei se isto tem cura ou tem alguma medicina diferente para curar. Ou... A bone specialist. Mm -hmm. Um minuto só que nós temos. Do you recommend anything? As far as for your condition, because it, it's you have connective tissue disease. Who are you seeing right now? You said a hematologist. Uh, um, yeah, I see a hematologist. Yeah. A que médica que você está a ver? Estou a ver o doutor, o doutor Union. Agora não me lembro bem o nome, mas she doesn't remember the name. Are you also seeing a rheumatologist? Yeah. Yeah, well, I'm the, These are the two physicians who really would be working best with you. O melhor para a menina ou o rheumatologista? Yeah, eu, eu estou vendo, ele receita-me. Is, is, is your condition called lupus? Yeah, nada doctor said que I have a lupus, but the other say I have a... So something related to that. Yeah. I understand. E não tem cura, não tem uma medicina que... Vou fechar. 
Ok, minha senhora, se a senhora continua com algum problema, pode-me chamar que eu tenho contato com o seu doutor. Uh, quando, quando ele regressar, se a menina quiser falar comigo, uh, eu tenho o contato do seu doutor. A menina, te, a menina tem o meu celular. Mas, onde é que o doutor trabalha? O doutor trabalha onde? em Livingston. Onde consultório aonde? Livingston. 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 A menina sabe... Oh. Ok. Eu vou lhe dar o telefone do seu doutor. 973. Espera um momentinho, por favor. Desculpa. Ok, aqui tem que fechar, menina. Ok, desculpa. Já okay, estava. 973. 973. 322. 322. 0250. A menina chama. 0250. As empregadas dele são muito simpáticas, as meninas. They take good care of you, yes. Muito okay. obrigada. Nada, minha senhora, às ordens. Tudo okay. bom para si. Se estar aos espectadores, beijinhos para vocês todos e abraços. Thank you, Sr. Doutor. Sim. Thank you for having Sim. me. Sim, all the Portuguese who spoke English come on tonight. They Beautiful. Want to come and say, doctor, things are getting better and better and better. So, we'll, we'll give you um, a passport. Oh, perfect. A Portuguese passport. All right. We're, we're gonna, we've gone East Coast, West Coast. We'll go all over. I love it. Boa noite, se gostar os fatadores e, e até daqui a uma semana, se vocês quiser. Fica com Deus e muito obrigada pela vossa atenção.